Okay, start. Belum, tak boleh start. Okay, korang nampak slide eh? Okay, nampak. Ha. nampak. Okay, so. Jom lah. Okay. Jom. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh dan salam sejahtera. Dah rekod eh? Dah. Besarkan, besarkan. Oh, okay, besarkan. So, today uh, we want to talk about our assignment which is uh, we choose Yamaha and Suzuki. Okay, first of all, I would like to introduce my teammates. My name is Puteri Syaira Binti Nazaidi. And the first one is Muhammad Syarul Azmi bin Zawawi. And second is Nur Siti Nur Aisha binti Muhammad Zaini. And third is Umi Amira binti Muhammad. And last but not least is Nur Aisha Najiha binti Muhammad Syam. Okay, so today we want to explain about the core financial statements uh, to company which is Yamaha and Suzuki. So we continue with Aisha. 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 <laughs> Aisha. Aisha. So, okay. Aisha, we explain. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Um, Next slide. Next slide. Okay. Astagfirullahaladzim. Uh, hari ni, kita akan <laughs> present uh, Suzuki and Yamaha Company. Okay, this uh, logo Yamaha. Okay, kalau nak tahu ni financial statement of Yamaha Company. And okay. the, ini sambungan dia. Um, untuk, pengetahu, untuk pengetahuan, uh, kita mengambil tahun dua, 2019. Tahun 2019. Dan pada uh, logo Suzuki, uh, ni ialah logo Suzuki. Okay, kalau untuk Suzuki ni, kita ambil, kalau kat sini 2018. Tapi, uh, kita buat dia sebagai 2019 kerana dia ada beritahu Sekejap as dulu. of 31 March 2019. Sebab dia berakhir pada bulan 2019. Yes. Pada tahun 2019. Yes. So, ada balance sheet and financial statement lah untuk kita ambil dia punya maklumat untuk pengiraan liquidity, uh, profitability dan solvency and others. Okay, sebelum uh, kita 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 terangkan tentang pengiraan ratio liquidity, profitability dan solvency and others, uh, kita perlu menilai prestasi kewangan firma. Seperti yang kami punya kami punya group kami ambil Suzuki versus Yamaha and financial ratio is a tool that help us determine the financial health uh, of a company and the company we can compare a company financial ratio with its ratio in previous years and we can compare a company financial ratio with those of its industry. Okay, so uh, seterusnya Aisyah Najiha akan terangkan perkenaan pengiraan liquidity. Okay. Uh, dengarkan suara kan? Dengar, dengar, dengar. Okay. Uh, macam mana nak kira how to count a liquidity of Suzuki and Yamaha? So the yeah, formula is current ratio is Current asset divided by eh um not divided by bahagi means in English right divide 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 right current asset divide uh, current liberty so you will get the uh, current ratio um, last every right. every Suzuki and Yamaha current ratio. Uh, the formula, the second formula is acid minus test ratio equal cash plus account receivable divide current liability. So you will get the point of Suzuki and of Okay, the explanation interpret each ratio for both companies. So in QT equal ratio, first current ratio compares a firm's current asset to its current liabilities. 
second, Suzuki company has 1.211 in current asset for everyone in current liabilities. So Suzuki company liquidity margin marginal lower than that of Yamaha company, which has a current ratio of 3.4985. So that have a different of Suzuki and Yamaha current ratio, right? Okay, the next is about acid test or quit ratio. Quit ratio compare cash and current asset minus inventory that can be converted into cash during the year with the liabilities that should be paid within the year. Second is Yamaha company has 2.01 in quit asset for everyone in current debt. Yamaha company is more liquid than Suzuki company which has 0 0.71 cent for everyone in current debt. Uh, so the acid test ratio of Suzuki and Yamaha also have a different for both. For both. Okay. Profitability is mine also ke? Yes. Okay. Yes. Probability also they have a formula. Uh, have two. Okay, you can see the formula lah. I don't want to explain anymore. <laughs> okay, you can show. <laughs> you can see. So I explain the next page. Okay, explain or interpret each ratio for both companies. Operating return of asset. First, operating return of asset indicates the level of operating profits relative to the firm's total assets. Two. Manager are generating 0 0.88 cent of operating profit for every one of asset Yamaha company. Suzuki company equal 9.53 cents. So next is operating profit margin. Operating profit margin is the mind's how effective the company is in managing its cost of goods sold and operating expenses that determine the operating profit. Uh, Yamaha company managers are better than Suzuki company in managing the cost of goods sold and operating expenses. As the operating profit measure for Suzuki company is only 8.38%, while the better operating profit margin was 12 12.81%. 12 so, uh, we've seen Suzuki or Yamaha. Yamaha is better than Suzuki lah. Okay. All right. <laughs> So, Ben Susan, I get it's also mine, eh? No, no. It's Putri. <laughs> it's mine. All right. Okay, so we continue. I will explain the solvency and other. So, what we need to do is, the formula is operating return on asset is operating profit divided the total asset. Okay, so uh, macam Aisyah tadi lah, kita tak payah terangkan. Just tengok je dekat dia punya slide, slide. ni. <laughs> so, this is cari-cara untuk cari operating return on expert. So, this is for Minda. So, I will explain the next page. So, I explain the interpret each ratio for both company. Cap ratio. This ratio indicates the percentage of the firm's assets that are financed by debt implying that the balance is financed by equity. Second, Yamaha company financed 49.56% of its asset by debt. This ratio is higher than Suzuki company debt ratio of 25.64%. So, as uh, the ratio higher is Suzuki. Then, apa? Berbanding dengan Yamaha ni, Suzuki lah lagi tinggi dia punya debt ratio. So, understand tak? Apa faham tak? <laughs> faham. Faham eh? Okay, so we continue. Provide your overall opinion assessments on the liquidity profitability and solvency as other of the company. Okay. Ini bagian saya. Yeah. Saya lagi. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Liquidity <laughs> ratio is 
first point is equity ratio measure a company ability to satisfy its short term obligations. The list below provides a description of the most commonly used liquidity ratio. This ratio reflects a company's position at a point in time and therefore visually used ending balance sheet data rather than average. Okay, so this is a formula to find the current ratio, which is current asset divided to current liability. So, so far you understand? Yes. Yeah. Okay, we continue the, apa ni? <laughs> tak nampak lah. Interpretation. Okay, a higher current ratio is a higher level ability to make short term obligations. Suzuki Company has 1.211 in current asset for every month in current liability. Suzuki Company, liquidity maintains marginal head of Yamaha Company, which has a current ratio of 2.498. So we continue the next page. Okay, so now we have to find the asset cash ratio. So this is a formula. Cash plus account receivable divide to current celebrity. Interpretations a higher asset cash ratio indicates a higher level of liquidity or ability to meet short term obligations. It is a better indicator of liquidity than the current ratio in systems where inventory is located. Yeah, Yamaha company has 2.01 in quick assets for everyone in current debt. Yamaha company is more liquid than Suzuki company, which has 0.71 cents for everyone in current debt. So Yamaha is a higher than Suzuki. So next page, we share with me. Next page is probability ratio. Probability ratio measure a company ability to get generate profit from a resource asset. There are two type of probability ratio. First, return on sale probability ratio. We express various so subtotal subtotal under become statement a percent of review second return on investment probability ratio which measure income relative to the asset equity or total capital employed by a company the list below provide a description of the most commonly used service ratio and the formula is formula of operating return on asset is operating profit Divide by total asset. Interpretation. Interpretation. The measure the return earned by a company on its asset. Yamaha company has 10.88 cent to operating profile for every one of asset. Operating return on asset lower than of Yamaha, which has 9.53. Same. Okay, next page. Formula for operating profit margin is operating profit divided by sale. Integration and operating profit margin that increase faster than the gross profit margin can indicate improvement in controlling operating costs such as ad administ administrative overhead. Yamaha company manage a better than Suzuki company in managing the cost of goods sold and operating expenses as the operating profit margin for Suzuki company is only 8.38% while the better operating profit margin was 12.81% for for so okay next is solve solvency and order so, we see ratio is a company ability to satisfy a long term obligation. The provide information relating to the related amount of debt 
in the company capital structure and the other currency of the link and the cash flow to cover interest expenses and other fees such as at the failure. There are two types of solvency ratio. First is debt ratio, which, of, which focus on the balance sheet and measure the amount of debt capital relative to equity capital. Second is coverage ratio, which focus on the income statement and measure the ability of company to cover its debt payment. But set of ratio I use for is assess, assessing a company solvers and evolution the quality of a, of its bond and other debt obligation. Next slide. Next slide. Sobat and order. Umi. No. No, ni Sharul. Sharul lagi. That's my. Yes. Oh. This list below provide a list and description oh of my. the most commonly <laughs> used sober stress. Uh, the formula of that ratio is total debt divided by total asset. In the position, the measure the present of a company total asset that are finances of debt. Financial with debt. A higher ratio implies higher financial rise and weaker service. The Maha company finance 49.56% of the asset by debt. The ratio is higher than Suzuki company. Debt ratio of 25.64 percent. <laughs> so that's all from Sharon? Yes. That's all from me. Okay, so we continue with Umi, right? Yes. Oh. Hi Umi. Umi, show your face. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Umi. Continue. Based on the opinion that you have provided question for, I will suggest and explain two ways to uh, improve the current condition of the company. Next. Okay, firstly, get, you may be able to get by a simple hard drive, upgrade, or RAM boost, but those you will need regular maintenance and some indeed attention every few years. If it has been more it's time to upgrade the system entirely. Next. The second thing is streamline social media marketing efforts. Uh, social media is improving, uh, improving. It's going to be one of the most viable marketing available this day. It was uh, certainly a hot topic and one that to be more. Utilizing the form to promote your business is extremely important but really shouldn't be a major time concern. A few uh, a few hours spread out each week to be enough to do with a social media account for a company. So that's the less. I just and okay. So totally, we are finished to present about Yamaha mm. and Suzuki. So, uh, I would like to make a conclusion. Conclusion is how. We are present today is about how to find the current ratio, how to find the solvency, liquidity, liquidity, and how to find the profitability and solvency and others. So, itulah yang kita orang bentangkan pada hari ini. Dan su yang kita orang cari. Ya betul. Dan so, Suzuki uh, Suzuki oh, Yamaha Yamaha is better than Suzuki. Yes. Sebab apa? Um, this assignment untuk menilai prestasi kewangan syarikat-syarikat yang kita pilih seperti Suzuki dan Yamaha tadi lah. Uh, so kita Maksudnya boleh. Kita Dua-dua Yes, kan? kita boleh compare mana satu uh, company yang bagus, mana satu yang tidaklah. 
Mana yang sepatutnya kita pilih uh, untuk kewangan. Yang bagus apa? Suzuki ke Yamaha tadi? Mm, Yamaha. Yamaha. Uh-uh. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, itu je lah yang kita buat. Hmm, kita present. So, enjoy. And tunggu je lah video nanti ya. Enjoy your day. That's all for today. Okay, bye. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Saya stop rakaman ni. Cuba cek tengok. Ada tak suara?